Hi, welcome to Chemos Start Online. We do research for your success. Now we are discussing gate previous year solved problems. So just look at the given problem. The number of possible stereoisomers obtained in the following reaction is. So we have the reaction. So just look at the reaction of phenanthrene. That means uh, methyl phenanthrene. So we can calculate. Uh, we can give the name as a uh, uh, four methyl okay for methyl phenanthrene and reacting with ozone zinc in the first step and in the second step with excess uh, phenyl magnesium bromide so that is simply a Grignard reagent followed by uh, acidic uh, uh, process that is simply h3o plus okay right so first thing ozone and zinc combination uh, is simply ozonolysis followed by reduction with zinc okay right now, so how uh, uh, ozonolysis uh, takes place? That means we are going to uh, discuss on mechanism of ozonolysis here. So just look at the first step. In the first step, 1,3 cycloaddition takes place. That means ozone can add onto the uh, alkene. Okay. So after that, in the second step, uh, retro 1,3 cycloaddition takes place. So just to follow the arrows, and after that. Uh, flip of carbonyl takes place and uh, after that in the next step 1 comma 3 cycloaddition takes place just follow the arrows okay and then so after that if we use reductive workup for example zinc or dimethyl sulfide we get ketones or aldehydes okay right now if we use or uh, if we work up with oxidative um, reagents like H2O2, we get acids. That means simply carboxylic acids in the products. Okay, All right. Now come to the uh, problem now. So just look at the given uh, uh, substrate here. That means uh, methyl phenanthrene. Uh, ozonolysis. I have I have given a uh, direct. So that is. Uh, after ozonolysis and uh, zinc that means reduction with zinc so just uh, uh, follow the mechanism of ozonolysis now we get aldehydes two aldehydes right now after that we can think uh, just uh, so many people or uh, so many aspirants can think there is only one possible of uh, ozonolysis and we get uh, two aldehydes but here is the uh, logical so that means uh, we need to think uh, deep that means we have another methyl group which is also affected by the ozone okay ozone and zinc that means ozone isis and followed by reduction and there is a possibility of a formation of aldehyde on methyl group that means simply methyl group is also oxidized by the ozone okay so this is important point so so many uh, of us will uh, stop at this only and we can we go for further reactions and we give the answer but that is not correct so we have another uh, effective uh, group is there that is methyl group so ozone uh, the oxidized methyl group into aldehyde okay so after that so by using excess uh, phenyl magnesium bromide that is a uh, grignard reagent followed by uh, acidic workup so I am not giving um, here Grignard mechanism. You can follow it. So after the by the Grignard uh, reagent attack, we get uh, that means uh, hydroxide phenyl group onto the uh, carbonyl group, and we get so three chiral centers. Okay, we get three chiral centers. Just uh, look at the uh, stars. So we have three chiral centers on the compound. So whenever we have three chiral centers with uh, with unsymmetrical molecule so just look at this this is unsymmetrical molecule there is no possibility of any symmetry on it so whenever we have that kind of uh, unsymmetrical molecule with chiral centers we have a uh, total number of isomers equals to 2 power n okay so here n indicates number of chiral centers so hence we have three chiral centers in the uh, product so that's why we get eight uh, stereoisomers okay right thank you